everyone. Welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Today, we're going to be talking about the price of a service change and a panel upgrade in a post-COVID market. And I wanted to look at this panel here. It's a perfect example. Before we get started, we need to talk about some price increases, which have significantly changed the game for us. So let's take a look at this here. Let's talk about a two-pole breaker. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Previously, a two-pole breaker which takes up two locations to give us our 240 volt circuits, it would cost in between five and let's say $12. Now they're costing in between 15 and $35 for the same breaker. Same thing with a single pole breaker. They used to cost in between two and $7. Now, and this is in recent markets, you know, they used to be much cheaper back in the day. Now they're costing in between five and $15 for a single pole breaker. That's not to count arc fault breakers. A single pole arc fault breaker, we used to be able to get for $35. Now they're costing anywhere in between $45 and $65 for an arc fault breaker, and even higher when you get into dual function breakers. So what does this mean for us? What it means basically is that the cost of our panel change has significantly gone up. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Right now, we are charging in between $2,500 and $4,000 for a panel-only panel change. And if you've watched my previous video on how to price panels, you'll see the large increase. I used to be able to do a panel only for in between $1,200 and $1,500. But with the cost of material, cost of labor, gas, and everything else, that is just not possible anymore. I mean, think about it. A stick of rigid metal conduit is $160 right now, depending on where you're at in your market. It used to be around 90 and I've seen it cheaper, and I believe I've even seen it more expensive, but it's through the roof, $160. So let's talk about a panel-only panel change and what you may want to be charging in this new market. Like I said before, we used to be able to do a panel only for in between $1,200 and $1,500. Now we're charging in between, we'll say $2,000 and $4,000 depending on if it's an easy one or not. So you can see that the price has almost doubled in some scenarios. Now let's talk about a service change. That means we're changing the outside and the inside. Now this is gonna vary greatly on whether or not you are going through the roof on the service or going under the roof, whether you have to use rigid metal conduit or you can just use PVC. So depending on the scenario, you're gonna end up with a you know wide range of prices. But we're quoting service changes for in between $2,500 and $5,000. And we're getting them all the time. It's just becoming the new market normal. I do hope that it cools back down and we're able to charge less. But currently in this post-COVID market, we're having to charge almost double what we were charging before in order to make the same amount of money. By the time we pay the inflated labor rates, the inflated shipping, cost, materials, gases through the roof. And by the time we figure in all these things, we're not making any more if not a little bit more, just a little bit more money, we're not making what we're having to bill out to justify being able to pay for all the costs. Now in your area, it may be significantly more, but I made a, a video before, and I'll put a link down in the description below of how to price a panel change. I really encourage you to go watch that video and you can see how much the prices have changed and how I used to think about quoting those jobs and how we are quoting them now. So I am the Electrical Code Coach. I just want to see you guys win and I want to encourage you today to whatever you're wanting to do, whether you're in that low season or whether you're in a super grinding season, whatever it is you're wanting to do, I want to encourage you to go out and go for it. So the only thing stopping us from becoming what we want to be, doing what we want to do is us. It's our discipline or lack thereof. So I encourage you today that you can do it. Decide what you want and go after it. I'm here to help you in any way that I can, if nothing else, to encourage you, and I want you to know that I'm praying for you every day. I hope you guys have a great day, and if there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.